I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SKI Accounting System training, I'll talk about user maintenance, access control, and also password policy. Let's log into SKI Accounting System. In SKI Accounting System, to create a user, what you need to do is go to Tools, Maintain User. Then, it will list out all your users in the system. If you want to create a user, just go to new and you can create this user by giving him a code and a name okay in SQL accounting system we understand that all of our code can be alphanumeric means it can be numbers or wording and it's very important that try not to use like let's say this is an accounting stuff you put SCC1 SCC2 just put their name because later on we can trace down what they have done inside the system under the tools train audit trail okay or if you have created the user group you can assign this user under which grouping of them the access right will according to that group okay if not just create the user and click save then go to more click reset password so the system will generate a password for this new user, Brian. Click yes to copy the password. Then you can send email or WhatsApp or just write down in a notepad, just in case you forget what is the password for Brian and just give this new password to him and he need to log in into SK accounting system. Now let's log in as Brian. So when Brian log in using the new password assigned to him, the system will prompt your password has expired and must be changed. That means the system forced him to change the password. Okay. System will require him to key in the current password. Then he will be forced to change the password with a new password. Then he will be able to log in. What this mean? It means that even the administrator who have generated the password for Brian, now administrator also do not know the password for all the stuff. This is a very, very useful password policy. Why? Imagine, let's say the administrator know the password for Brian and he have a fight with Brian, then he can do bad things and log in as Brian and do some bad thing inside the system and Brian will take responsibilities, not the administrator. So that's why in SQL, we are very concerned with all this scenario. So that's why administrator will not know the password for Brian. What if Brian forgot the password? So no worry. What administrator can do is just go in and go to maintain user, go to Brian, and reset the password for Brian again. Okay, then again, password, uh, the Brian will use this new password to log in and force to change password. So this is how our password setting or create new, new user. Secondly, let's talk about access right. What a user can do inside the system or set what he cannot do inside the system. So you go to tools, maintain user. You can maintain the access control for individual user under more access control. So as you can see, by column is all the user in the system, by row is all the function in SQL. For example, let's say you need Brian to create invoice, but because Brian is a new joint staff, you don't want him to edit or delete invoice. So what you need to do is just go to sales module, click the plus sign, then it will expand out with all the function in sales module. Then you go all the way to invoice. Then from invoice row, go to Brian column, click arrow down. So 
This will show out all the action Brian can take in invoice. You don't want Brian to edit invoice and take the edit action. Don't want Brian to delete and take delete. Meaning Brian can create new but cannot edit, cannot delete. Can you see that in SQL accounting system, our security is up to action level. A lot of system is up to transaction. Meaning that if you go to invoice, you can go invoice, you can do everything. But in SQL, everyone can go invoice. But what you can do inside invoice, what is the action you can take inside invoice? We separate into new edit, delete, process, print, preview, export. Okay? So SQL accounting security is very, very detailed. Okay? Now, this is one way. This is by assign the access control according to individual user. So some of my customers may ask, Brian, I have 30 users. How can I set for 30? So it will be very troublesome. Can I separate them into group? Maybe purchasing department or maybe accounting department. So all the users under the group will get the same access right. But if you want to do that, then just go to tools, maintain user group. You can maintain different user group. For example, purchasing, or you have another call uh, warehouse team. Okay, you have another call warehouse. So, under warehouse, who is under warehouse? Then you can assign. Let's say phone is under warehouse. Okay, or Brian is under warehouse. So you can assign the user according to group. Then. Outside, go to more access control. Then you can see this time the column is not the user, it's the group. Okay, let's say remember Brian is under warehouse and Brian cannot access uh, GL. So, what you can do, click the first one, click on the shift button on your keyboard. Do not release the shift button, just press it, click the last one, then it will highlight everything. Click Revoke, that means you remove the access for whatever you have highlighted. If you want to run, click Shift, highlight all, click Run, then you assign back, you grant back all the access file. Okay? The same way can be done when you Go to maintain user, you create a new user and you can see that the grouping also appear down here. That means during creation of user, you also can assign according to group. Just now is group and assign user. Now is user assigned to group. Okay, this is how you can maintain user, change password and grant access right. The last one we want to talk about is called password policy. Now, this is a very special feature in SK accounting system. And to me, it's quite new. So if you do not see this uh, function in SQL, that means you are using a very, very old version. Call your dealer, upgrade it. You do not have a dealer, call Riot. Okay, sign my maintenance. Okay, so go to tools. The first one is called password policy. So password policy, the first setting will be maximum password age. So if you are very familiar with online banking or Facebook, you know these things. Maybe online banking, every three months, you are forced to change your password. So what you can do in SQL, click this, put 90. That means every 90 days, the system will force you to change password. Okay, so this is called maximum password age. Minimum password length, meaning that the minimum character that must have in your password. Let's say 10. That means you must have a 10 character alphanumeric in your password. Okay. Save password history. Let's say 3. Okay. This is like your Facebook. So you try to create a new password, but the Facebook reject you. Why? Because you have used this uh, password before. So the previous how many? Let's say previous three. The last three passwords cannot be used again. Okay, so this is password history. All inside your password must have uppercase or lowercase or number 
or special character. So you can see that in SQL accounting system, all password policy is up to banking level. Okay, it's very secure. Then plus just now the uh, reset password uh, compulsory to change password and it then plus our audit trail we can trace back from when to when which user have done inside the system whatever they have done inside the system or we don't know the date don't know the user we're using a document number to trace who did this document who edit it who delete this document we are able to do so so that's why for SQL accounting system our security is very good okay now just in case if you want to purchase SQL accounting system or SQL payroll system you are welcome to contact us or you already have SQL accounting or SQL payroll just that you think that can I change my maintenance to another dealers okay or you want to change to Brian or Syntax Technologies you are welcome to contact us directly. So, once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.